Hey there, welcome back to this playlist on Tosca 2024. So we are talking about all the latest features which has been recently introduced into Tosca 2024. So let's talk about our next interesting feature. Now this particular feature, you will find it uh, quite innovative and also quite interesting uh, simply because uh, it has always been a challenge in the past to automate uh, these kind of scenarios, right? So this particular feature uh, is all about uh, verifying QR codes or barcodes. Now it's important to uh, note the difference between a QR and a barcode. So let's uh, have a look at one of the document which uh, I have prepared. So let's go to C drive and let's go to training and we'll go to files, okay? So here I have uh, prepared this particular uh, PDF file, okay? So you can use this feature uh, specifically on PDF files, right? So this uh, particular module is only built for PDF files. So here, uh, if we look at this PDF file, right? So it is a sample PDF file um, and the codes which you are looking uh, from the beginning, these are called the barcodes, right? So it has got some um, lines and some blocks uh, which represents a particular code, right? Here in the document, uh, we have also got uh, what that particular value is for that particular barcode, right? Um, and some barcodes doesn't have that particular value also printed on it. So these are used for several purposes. Uh, it's a kind of um, encoding some particular information, right? Which you want to uh, have in your document. Now, the next type is the QR code, right? So this is how it looks like. So this QR code uh, will have some encoded information within it, which you cannot see, right? But uh, when you try to verify this, you will obviously verify the value which this QR code uh, associates with. So QR codes, uh, nowadays you can regularly find it everywhere, right? So wherever you go, you can scan a QR code and it will land you on a particular uh, web page or it can land you on a particular uh, product or um, you can also make payments using QR codes, right? So QR codes um, are used on a day-to-day -day basis. So Tosca has now um, built some modules through which you can uh, verify both the barcode and QR codes um, in your PDF document. Also, currently it is not possible to do it outside the PDF document, but I expect uh, Tosca to come up uh, with a feature on that also in the future. So let's have a look at how we can verify uh, a barcode and a QR code in a PDF document using uh, the Tosca 2024 modules. So uh, let's get back to our Tosca. Um, as always, the prerequisite is using the latest version of Tosca. So let's go to our workspace. And here uh, we are working on this particular folder. So we'll continue here. Um, let's create our next test case. And uh, this is to verify barcodes. Um, and here, now let's search for the module which can do that. Okay, so I'm going to search for barcode reader. So this is the module name. And uh, as you can see, the parameters also uh, provide you only with the options of a PDF file, right? So here we need to select the PDF file. Um, so let's go here. This is the PDF file which I want to work with. I'm going to copy this part and put it across here, okay? And then uh, there is a parameter called barcode, okay? Now here uh, you have the option of type, right? So here you can either select a barcode or you can select a QR code or you can select all. So it will verify everything, okay? And if you look at the definition of this type, so the type, uh, only supports uh, specific types, okay, but it will support most of the types which you are trying to verify. 
but in case uh, if your test case fails then you should look at uh, the types which are supported so there are certain types of qr codes and barcodes which are currently supported by this module right so let's go ahead and select barcode here let's try to verify a particular barcode okay and then here uh, we will say page uh, which page this particular code is in so for us it is the first page so i'll put it one uh, index again if there are multiple barcodes um, and if you want to verify a particular barcode right so you have to put the index of it because there will be similar barcodes uh, on the page at least on my pdf i've got lots of barcodes so here i'm trying to verify the first one and the value is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So this is what I'm trying to verify. So I'll put uh, the value here so that it can be verified. Okay, and uh, the action mode will change to verify so that it's a verification step. Now, uh, the next thing which I want to do uh, is I want to check the QR code. Right, so I can do it in the next step again. Uh, again, I need to put the page, the index, right, and uh, then the value. Now, right now, uh, I don't know what's the value of this QR code, right? So what I can do is I can take a fail first approach here, right? So I uh, knowingly fail this particular test case so that uh, in the verification step, I would uh, come to know what is the expected result, okay? In an ideal scenario, you would already know this because uh, you would get that in your requirement. But for now, I don't know this. So I'll put some random value here and uh, I expect this verification to fail, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and uh, execute this now. So we'll run this. Okay, it might take a couple of seconds to uh, complete this, okay? And now, um, if we look at the scratch book and go through the results, uh, both the steps have failed, okay? But let's see what are the failures. So in the first, uh, the expected value was this, and the actual value was this. So I was missing a zero. So we will do that, we will change that. And then the interesting one is the QR code. Okay, so I put the expected value is this, but uh, the actual value was uh, Jasper reports, right? So that's how I got the actual value. And now I can compare both the values by making some changes into my test case, right? So let's go ahead and make these changes. Uh, so the first iteration failed, that's fine. But now uh, we'll put the correct values here so that uh, we get a pass for this particular test case, right? So now let's go ahead and try to run this again. Okay, so this time around uh, the test case has passed. Uh, this was uh, expected. So here you can see the verification results. It will show you the expected versus actual, which uh, we have already seen. So that's how you can easily verify any barcode or any QR code uh, which is present in a PDF document. So that's the important part. Uh, currently, you cannot test it outside a PDF document. But as I said, uh, we should expect that feature also to be present pretty soon uh, with Tosca. So it's a pretty uh, interesting uh, feature. This will allow us to extend our automation further where uh, we can also um, automate or verify uh, the barcodes or QR codes which are present uh, in the PDF document, which was uh, not easily possible, uh, at least in Tosca, uh, but uh, it could be also a challenge in other automation tools. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.